Welcome back dear learners to the second part of the video on the unit contemporary issues in management. In the previous video we discussed about the meaning of conflict, the types of conflict and we also discuss about the conflict management. So in this part of the video we will discuss about the stress management, we'll discuss about the sources of stress, we'll also discuss about the stress management strategies. So now let us first discuss about what is stress and the concept of stress management. Stress is a condition in which an individual is confronted uh, with an opportunity, constraint or demand related to what one desires and for which the outcome is perceived to be both uncertain and important. Stress is associated, I have I already said, with cons uh, constraints or demands, then uncertainty over the outcome which is regarded as important. And uh, stress can be constructive, that is positive, or destructive, that is negative. So stress is good when the situation offers an opportunity to a person to gain something. It, uh, it acts as a motivator for peak performance in the organization. So now let us discuss about uh, the constructive stress. So constructive stress can indicate a situation where the individual is in balance or behaves uh, within tolerable limits. Low or moderate amount of stress can act in a constructive or energizing way. Moderate stress can increase effort, stimulate creativity and encourages uh, diligence uh, in one's work. And stress is negative when a person faces social, physical or organizational and emotional problems. Now let us discuss about the destructive stress or this is also called distress. So distress is not healthy for an individual or for an organization. Distress uh, would indicate effects that are out of balance or outside the tolerance limit. Excessive stress may lead to overload and breakdown of a person's physical and mental system. Performance may suffer and um, person may react to high stress through absenteeism in the organization, in the company or errors, uh, we make it the accidents and reduce performance and etc. So now let us discuss some of the causes or sources of stress. The factors that are responsible for causing stress are called stressors. So here in this diagram you can see some of the causes, uh, the factors that lead to stress at work. The major causes of stress at work or in an organization can be career concern, role ambiguity, then rotating work uh, shapes, then role conflict, occupational demand, a lack of participation in decision making, then work overload, then also work underload, then poor working condition, then lack of group cohesiveness, then interpersonal and intergroup conflict, uh, organizational changes, then uh, lack of social support. So these are some of the factors that lead to stress in the workplace. So now let us discuss some of the causes of stress outside the workplace. There are certain factors outside the scope of an organization that also causes stress. So the main causes of stress outside the workplace or the organization would be uh, civic amenities, life changes, frustrations, uh, then caste and religious conflicts, then personality is also one of the factors, then technological changes and career changes are some of the factors that lead to stress now let us discuss about the strategies for managing stress. The first step in understanding in uh, managing stress would be ourselves. We should understand ourselves better. How we react uh, in different situations, what causes us you know, stress, then how we behave when we feel stress. Uh, once we have done with that, then we can take some of the steps that are described in this video. Uh, so, uh, set our priorities, then we should uh, the practice facing stressful moments, then ex examine our expectations, then we should live a healthy lifestyle, then we always should learn to accept changes as a part of our life because change is always constant and we should always cope up with the change. So, further, the, there are some habits that can remarkably help to relieve stress. So that would be regular meditation if you do if you do that, then physical exercises, 
then balanced diet, focused thinking, control on anger, then managing depression, maintaining calmness in a stressful situation, then having a positive attitude towards life and harmony towards self and others. So dear learners, with this we have come to the end of the unit that is contemporary issues and management and we discuss here about the conflict, the aspects of conflicts and also some of the aspects of uh, stress and strategies to manage stress and uh, thank you so much for watching this video.